predicting the amount of product produced. In the problem it says consider the following balanced equation. N2 plus 3H2 yields to NH3. How many grams of NH3 are produced if 7.0 grams of, N, un, of N2 react? So we want to know that in grams and they've given us some molar masses to help us along the way. So this is a mass to mass stoichiometry problem. What we have to do is remember that we're going to go from the mass of A or whatever we're given, so I'm going to say that's A, to the moles of A. Then we're going to use the mole ratio then we're going to use the mole ratio to find the moles of B. Then we're going to use that to find the mass of B. So what we, we have the mass of A, so we have 7.0 grams of N2. So to find, the, to find the moles of N2, what we have to do is divide by the molar mass, which is 28 grams per mole and then we get 0 0.25 moles and that is the moles of A so that's moles of N2 then we use the mole ratio what is saying here is that there's it's a 1 because that's the coefficient here and 2 which is the coefficient here and so it's a 1 to 2 ratio so if there's if there's one mole here there's going to be two moles here since there's 0.5 moles of N2, that means I'm going to multiply by 2. So you can do the heart shape method if you want to show that you have 0 0.25 moles of N2 over 1. So that's the ratio equals 2. And you don't know exactly what the moles are of NH3. But you can figure out, you can put an X here and then do a ratio problem to figure out to figure out what this will be simply you can also multiply by 2 and so this is going to be 0 0.5 moles of NH3 because if there's 0 0.25 moles of N2 there's going to be 0 0.5 moles of NH3 so now that we know the moles of NH3 we can multiply by its molar mass, which is 17 grams per mole, to get the, number, the grams of NH3. So when I multiply 0 0.5 times 17 grams, I get 8.5 grams, which is the answer to our problem. And it has two significant digits, because we started with two significant digits. So that is the answer to our problem. And we have to remember that when we do mass to mastery geometry, we go from mass of A to mole of A. We use the mole ratio and use what we know about how to calculate ratios to get the mole of B. And then we go to the mass of B.